Well, I let the, uh, the broccoli get away from me, and that's what happens. I decided to give the goldfish a little snack and gave him some of the carapia, uh, tilapia crumble that we, we just got in. Um, they're pretty happy. But uh, the water's a little cloudy right now, a little little brown because we we were turning some uh, we were turning some grow beds and uh, I added a little seaweed uh, extract to the water to kind of give the, the plants a little boost. But everything seems to be doing pretty well. This is the actual tilapia crumble that we, we purchased uh, for our tilapia fingerlings. Um, you can see it, it almost looks like uh, coffee grounds. And in fact, coffee grounds is pretty, pretty close. But uh, I, I'm gonna put the uh, ingredients here on the side so you guys can check it out. But uh, it's pretty good stuff. We bought 20 pounds of it because we're gonna have a lot of uh, tilapia fingerlings. Uh, we have 100, 100 of them coming on Friday. So. And uh, another thing is I want to show you guys is we finished the system. It's finally all put together and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the beds uh, right now. Yeah, it's just a green bean still in its soil cube or soil pod. And uh, we, some tomatoes and there's some green onions planted in there. We just really wanted to clear everything up and uh, here's some, some greens. Uh, this is mustard. This is actually really spicy. I really like this. And then uh, this is Swiss chard. Uh, we've got a, a line of them over there. So uh, they're, they're doing really well. They've taken to the system uh, pretty good. Let me show you the next bed. And here are some onions that we're growing. We just put those in the system. Uh, we put everything in yesterday. Uh, there's a green bean. I let it, I let it uh, dry out and the leaves fell off. So that's all new growth. And uh, that was in a soil pod. And I rinsed off, I put it in a bucket of water and rinsed off all the uh, dirt and there's just tons of r roots and really, it's, it's just a really healthy root ball in there. So I was really happy with the way those, those, those soil pods worked out. So I'll be using those from now on. Uh, these are some uh, zucchini and uh, there's another green bean. The green beans are gonna go outside in the barrel aquaponic system as soon as the frost, uh, the, the frost danger goes away. Uh, this is some more. That leaf doesn't look too good. See, these were all looking pretty crappy, uh, pretty yellow, but now they're turning green again now that I put them in, in the system. And uh, I don't know if they're stripping all this bad crap away, but they look pretty good. So let's go over to the next, the other side. Okay, these are our goji berries. You see them back there. You can see some, uh, these ones are probably about six inches tall. They're doing okay, but there's a a lot of little ones that we just started from seed, and they're doing pretty well. We've got about 12 of them, I think. These are some cucumber plants that just were looking horrible, so we stuck them in the system. Um, and if they don't do any uh, do very well, I'm going to take one of those green beans and stick it and stick it in there. Uh, here is some melon, and that's some watermelon over there. And these are Brussels sprouts that are in the system. You can't really see them very well, but that's uh, that's in there. And they'll be all the way back, so we got five of those. So that's that bed. I'll show you the last one. So this plant here, this is a watermelon plant, and I just stuck it in the system because it looked like it was about to die, but it seems to be doing pretty well. Same thing with this wa watermelon, or uh, cantaloupe right, right here. It looked like it was about to die, and now it's just doing great. Uh, pepper plant, uh, bell pepper doing, are doing okay. Uh, this, I don't, I don't even know what that is. It's some kind of melon, I think, but the one behind it, the pepper plant's doing really well. Same thing. Uh, it's cherry tomatoes here in the soil pods. There's another tomato, some more peppers, and these are the gigantic pepper plants. That's a green bean. That's that's my that's my prize green bean there. I'm waiting for that one. But these are our tomato plants, and they are getting big. Man, these are indeterminates. <laughs> I'm, I I saw some videos and your guys' suggestions, and I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do about these guys yet. Um, so we'll find out. But yeah, everything's everything's growing. They're growing right up into the lights. So. Uh, you just have to deal with it, bud, because these ones need light too. Yeah, look, just look how how tall and well they're well they're doing. I really I'm really enjoy doing this. I'm enjoying doing this. And yeah, so th these are the lights. And again, we we alternated the 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 red and the blue, red, blue, red, blue. So there's six bulbs in each in each one. So we have all four, and they're all just sitting at their you know, at the levels they need to be. So yeah. Anyways, that, that's the update to this system, and it's all done. So 
the only real updates you'll be getting from this are when we add the tilapia and just you know what we grow so if you guys have any questions or anything like that just let me know uh, thanks for watching guys